Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Glasses. This is our another video on the topic Magnetic Anisotropy and Shielding and Deshielding Zone in NMR Spectroscopy. So in my previous video, I have discussed with this molecule alkene, we have already discussed about the direction of the current and the induced magnetic field line. Here in this video, I again explain all such things with reference to the molecule carbonyl. And here again, we are having acidic molecule which is also having C double bonds. So, and because of this C double bond O group, we are having magnetic anisotropy effect in such molecules. Apart from these carbonyl groups, I will also discuss the acetylene molecule. Uh, since in my previous video, I have discussed the acetylene molecule with reference to the magnetic susceptibility. And uh, here I am just telling you about the direction of the induced current and the magnetic field. Fine. And in the next video, I will discuss about the magnetic anisotropy and the ring effect in the aromatic compound. So let's start with the molecule carbonyl. Here is the molecule which is having carbonyl group. Here I have drawn orbital structure of the carbonyl group. Now when we place this molecule having carbonyl group in the applied external magnetic field that is B naught, then this B naught magnetic field induces the circulation of electrons within this C orbitals of the carbonyl group. And the circulation of electron is perpendicular to the applied external magnetic field. Here the arrow shows the direction of induced current. If the flow of electron is in this direction, then the direction of the induced current is opposite to that. And the direction of this induced current is determined by the Fleming's right hand rule. This is the direction of the induced current. If current is there, this situation resembles to the current carrying conductor which is in the form of a loop. And if this is so, then there are induced magnetic lines are also there. So suppose I have drawn here the induced magnetic line and the direction of these induced magnetic lines will be decided by the right hand thumb rule. Suppose this is the direction of the current and our curl finger suggests the direction of the magnetic field. Suppose if such kind of uh, circle is there and you hold that circle in your hand then how you are holding this? So your fingers are going inside and they come outside. So inside this ring, your fingers are moving downward and outside this ring, they are moving. Probably it will help you to understand. These are the induced magnetic field lines and these, this is the direction. Inside this ring, they are downward direction and outside this ring, they are in the upward direction. And as I told you earlier, these magnetic lines are all around this current carrying loop. Here, we are having upward direction okay and this applied external magnetic field is also in upward direction this induced magnetic field increases the strength of the magnetic field which is experienced by this proton this is in the upward direction again this is in the upward direction so this is the additive effect so this proton experience more magnetic field so if it experience more magnetic field then it resonates at higher frequency side that is higher chemical shift value and this part of this molecule is known as D shielding zone. If somehow any of the proton is present over here because of the geometry of the molecule since here the direction of the induced magnetic field lines is in downward direction this is in upward direction so this decreases the magnetic field if the proton which is present over here experience less magnetic field then it resonates at lower frequency side that is it resonates at lower chemical shift value that is why we call this region as a shielding zone so this can also be understood by this representation. Suppose the cone is formed angle at 43 degree. This value is given in the William Camps book. I have taken this from there. So this is the shielding zone and outside this shape we are having the shielding zone. So in some books it is given in this manner. This is the shielding zone. So delta negative represents the 
shielding or low delta value. The delta is the chemical shift value in PPM and uh, this is the increased chemical shift value. So low chemical shift value or shielding zone, high chemical shift value or the de-shielding zone. So this can be understood in this manner. So if we are having this type of molecules, then they create magnetic anisotropy. And if the proton or the nuclei of interest is present in this de-shielding zone, then it resonates at higher delta value. And if re present in the shielding zone, then at, it resonates at low delta value. The next example, which we have already discussed in our previous video in detail, so I have just shown you here again. So this is this is the alkene molecule. This is the direction of the induced current and this is the again direction of induced magnetic field lines when placed in the applied external magnetic field. Here uh, again a cone is formed. Here you can see and this cone is here is the low delta value and here is the high delta value or we can say in other words this is the shielding zone and this is the de-shielding zone the cone is formed at 36 degrees this is the more quantitative picture so if our proton is present outside this cone then we are having de-shielding of that proton or it resonates at higher delta value the next example is of alkyne molecule so here is the alkyne molecule and here is the its orbital structure okay so since it is having triple bond so triple bond is having two pi bonds and pi bonds are formed by the sidewise overlapping of p orbitals so since it is having two pi bonds two p orbitals two sidewise overlapping so here we are having this type of orbital structure of this molecule some of students are having question when we place the other molecules in the perpendicular direction then why we place this molecule in this manner answer of this question why we have placed it in parallel direction why not in the perpendicular direction the reason behind this is given in many of the textbooks that the circulation of electron in this acetylene molecule occurs on one atom okay p orbitals of one atom so this carbon having two p orbital and circulation of electron is taking place in this manner and on the other carbon circulation of electrons occur in this manner so actually in solution molecular tumbling is there and we get all different orientations within the solution for a molecule what we represented is the orientations maximum contribution okay those which are having lesser contribution we are not representing those orientations so here is the applied external magnetic field and circulation of electron is taking place in this manner which is perpendicular to this b node that is why this molecule adopt this type of structure which is more effective similarly the circulation of electrons occurs on the second carbon if circulation of electron is taking place then this is the direction of the induced current now if induced current is there then there are induced magnetic lines so associated with circulation of electron which can be shown like this so this is again the direction of these induced magnetic lines will be decided by this right hand thumb rule. So here we are again having the de-shielding zone and here we are having the shielding zone. Our proton is present in the shielding zone that is why it occurs at lesser value than the alkene protons. So here circulation of electron takes place at the perpendicular direction. Here again it is perpendicular and here again we are having perpendicular. If we put this then it will cut down the plane of the bond so that is not the effective position so probably this lecture will help you to understand so if you find this lecture helpful please subscribe my channel give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching thank you all